Dear participants of the European Parliament simulation, it is an honor to address you today, although I would have preferred to do it in person. I very much appreciate being awarded by you. I consider this is an acknowledgement of my pursuit of the European project. I'm convinced that you are experiencing an exciting time at the European Parliament simulation in Piraeus. It is a great chance to get to know the dynamics of the work within the European Parliament. The passionate debates, the struggles to agree on a consensus and the satisfaction after having come to an understanding. As a long-standing member of the European Parliament, I can say that it is not always easy to make decisions within the European Parliament. You have to listen, to negotiate and to interact with others. At the same time, you have to keep in mind that the decisions you are about to make will concern millions of citizens throughout Europe. The European Parliament simulation offers you an excellent opportunity to get first-hand experience of how the European decision-making process works. It is encouraging to see young Europeans taking part in initiatives like this. The agenda for the simulation has been carefully chosen to reflect the challenges the new European Parliament will have to tackle. You will be able to make decisions in fields where MEPs and heads of states have not yet worked on. I hope that you will use these four days as an opportunity to learn and understand the European Parliament. Moreover, I hope that the simulation will provide you with cultural understanding of the various EU member states and strengthen your European identity. You are the next generation of EU politicians. Especially these days, it is extremely important that young people learn about European integration to give a chance to identify with our common values and the idea of uniting the continent. The 2014 European election will be the first since the Lisbon Treaty came into force. These elections are special. It is the first time that the European people will choose the next president of the European Commission. Therefore, the upcoming EP elections are a milestone for European democracy. You have a say. You decide what direction Europe will take. I encourage you to express your opinion and to participate in the most active way possible with your criticism, with your proposals and with your vision. Your generation is dynamic, resilient and strong. That is why we need young people to drive the European debate and to influence the decision to be taken. I wish you all an inspiring and exciting days of discussion as well as lots of fun. Good luck with your negotiations.